Customers are busy baking colaches for a special <laughs> event. See tomorrow, Bishop Thomas Zincula will lead a prayer service in Dubuque ahead of his installation as the new Archbishop. As Cedar Rapids is included in the Diocese of Dubuque, several churches wanted to volunteer their time to help prepare. And KCRG TV 9's Libby Randall is live to share how local parishioners are lending a helping hand to mark this special event. Today, parishioners from several local churches gathered together to make more than 30 dozen kolaches to help welcome the new Archbishop of the Diocese of Dubuque. Volunteers say it was a way for them to add a personal touch to the occasion. It makes us feel like we're involved in the installation of the new Archbishop. Hours of prepping dough, waiting for it to rise, adding the ingredients and baking go into any batch of kolaches. But this group is used to that. So this 30 dozen that we did today, is, yeah, today is literally nothing. I mean, it's child's play. The Czech pastry usually makes its mark during St. Ludmilla's Kolach Festival. But this bulk baking is to welcome the new Dubuque Archbishop. There's other churches involved as well. Not only St. Ludmilla's, St. Winslow, but St. Pat's and, and St. Pius. Thomas Zinkula is from Mount Vernon and of Czech descent, which is another reason these churches wanted to help prepare the traditional Czech pastry for the event. It's important for all of us to feel together in this great moment in our church history. We are part of the Arch or the Diocese of Dubuque. Mm -hmm. And so it just kind of makes us a big part of the community. Zinkula served at several parishes, including Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Rickardsville, before being appointed as Bishop of Davenport in 2017 and now Archbishop of Dubuque. The previous Archbishop, Michael Jekylls, retired in April for health reasons. In studio, Libby Randall, KCRG-TV 9 News.